Exciting news for people who have type 1 diabetes. UBC researchers have developed oral insulin drops, which could replace the need for insulin injections. Lead researcher and UBC pharmaceutical sciences professor Shi Darli joins us now with those details. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So can you explain exactly how the drops work? Yeah, so our technology enables a very rapid absorption of insulin through the, the wet surface under our tongue. Um, so patients will no longer need to stick needles uh, into their body to take insulin. Now, I have a question about people who use Dexcom, for example, and monitor their blood sugar levels like that. How would that work in concert with that or what would that change? Yeah, so patients will still need to monitor their blood sugar. Uh, to uh, you know, help uh, the physicians uh, and, and work with physicians that decide uh, an accurate dose they, they can take uh, for either injection uh, insulins or our oral drop formulations. Okay, and that is a good point too. How many drops do you think people would need or does it depend on what their blood sugar level is? Yeah, definitely it depends on the blood sugar levels uh, each patient uh, has. Um, so that will determine the dose they need to take. Okay, so this will be just as effective as insulin injections? Yeah, so this will replace uh, the, the, uh, the needs for uh, injections. So, uh, uh, so the, the formulation is actually containing a peptide uh, that is able to open up cells under our tongue. So that will be able to create a pathway for rapid absorption of insulin into our blood circulation. Um, so again, patients will no longer need, uh, uh, you know, e uh, injection needles. This would be quite the game changer. It would be life changing for so many people if they didn't have to continuously inject themselves. Um, how how did you come up with this? Yeah, so it's uh, coming from a basic research in our lab. Um, so we are trying to uh, deliver larger molecules into cells. And so we have been trying different uh, uh, so-called cell penetrating peptides to open up cells uh, to allow this uh, very efficient penetration of larger molecules such as insulin or monoclonal antibody. So we have screened uh, uh, many, many different peptides and discovered this uh, particular peptide that is working really well. Um, so it's actually a byproduct from fish. Um, and then uh, right now the lab is uh, trying to uh, optimize the structure of this peptide so that we are hoping to get even more effective uh, peptide to help uh, us uh, deliver other uh, larger molecules like insulin or, or other uh, peptides more efficiently. Okay. Now this is in particular for type 1. Can this benefit type 2 diabetes patients as well? Yeah. Definitely, uh, because many type 2 diabetic patients are also taking insulin uh, because they, their body is not responding to insulin. So they need external source of insulin to help them uh, control their blood sugar. So this formulation will also help them. Do you think this idea of using these peptides, can it maybe help with other uh, medical situations? Yeah, definitely. So in our uh, lab, uh, we are also using this this peptide or its derivatives to deliver other types of drugs, uh, such as Ozempic, which is another blood sugar controlling uh, re, uh, drug and also has some uh, uh, weight loss functions. And uh, we are also working with growth hormones or monoclonal antibody that can be targeted to different diseases. Wow, that is amazing. This is quite the discovery, I guess, and development that has come from your lab. How quickly do you think it'll be put into use? Where are we at right now? Yeah, so right now we are uh, trying to scale up uh, this formulation to clinical grade, and then we will do large scale uh, safety and efficacy studies in preclinical model. Then we will be ready for human clinical trials in two years, and we are hoping to uh, launch this uh, product uh, in five years. Amazing work. Well, thank you so much for spending some time with us. That's Shar Dili, or Sha, yes, yeah, she Dili, sorry, uh, joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.